welcome back to another episode with Just Banning It and this week we are in fantastic windy Shark Bay but things do not go to plan. The Howard's having a couple of wobble bobbles. So when we say it's not going to plan, we had some big plans to um, in around Shark Bay. Even that I went back to Geraldton and even bought a swag. Um, we were looking at going to um, Steep Point and also going to the, the island, the Dirk, what was it? Uh, Cartog. Cartog Island, plus the National Park just north of Denham. That. But. Now this is where we need to be a little bit more organised. Our own fault. Don't don't um, jump on and say it's all your fault. We understand that. We can't find a dog sitter anywhere that could take Bobby for more than a day. Like Steep Point, we wanted we wanted four or five days to go to Steep Point and the island, and then we wanted a few days to go into the national park as well here. And um, unfortunately, we couldn't get a dog sitter. Sue even took a, you even <laughs> took leave because we thought it was going to work yeah. out. I've got leave, and we did pretty much everything. Um, tried to find the local vet. We went into the information centre. There is a lovely lady who looks after dogs, but she already had dogs booked in. For a month, um, she said, "Hey, eh? like yeah, before. nothing until like mid June available." and then um, shared our number with another dog sitter who hasn't given us a call so obviously doesn't have available availability and posted up on all the local facebook groups but not the end of the world it's yeah, just it's just part one of, of those rolling with rolling with pups and look he gives us joy 365 days a year so if we have to work around it more than happy to do so so we're currently parked up in denham for a few days We've been here for two already. We're here today and we'll leave tomorrow. We have fortunately got two nights accommodation in Monkey Mia. Woo! The catch is that we have to move sites. So we've got one site the Sunday night and one site um, a Monday night. One is an ensuite site. That's Wee. all we could get. So we took it. We was like, Sue was like, nah, I've got three days off work. We're what gonna go mean? and do it. I'm gonna be showering like a celebrity in our ensuite. So, there's a few other little things to do around Denham which we've um, chosen to do and one of those is the, hang on a minute, it's me, the aquarium, it's called the Ocean Park Aquarium and we actually let it take dogs there, on the tour, on the tour, so 10 minutes back outside of Denham, that's where we're on our way to now, we've also witnessed a few sunsets here in Denham in the evening, so we're gonna go and pop down now. Our caravan park is called the Dolphin Caravan Park and Holiday Village. It's uh, $50 a night for two adults, power and water. It's an awesome little camp and it's situated so perfect to Denham. Like the IGA Express is next door. There's a um, cafe, bottle you can literally walk. So we're gonna walk down to the foreshore this evening um, and watch the sun go down and then whole thumbs the locals have told us you can get some squid off the jetty at night so ah. we might just put together a fishing rod um, take Bobby and we're gonna take a walk down to the, the jetty this evening and see whether we can hook up some squid because oh. well I can't catch anything off the boat as you would have seen in last week's episode so that's the plan I'm starving, so I do a feed. We're gonna have a feed first and a coffee, hey? Eh? Ooh, coffee! Oh, yeah, 
yes, here we go. <laughs> you know, I am a very simple woman with simple pleasures. And these, or this, is one of them. One excited man. Yes. Warding. Three, three pieces of warning and chips and salad. It was thirty-five dollars, I think it was. Yeah. It is pretty dear. <coughs> but look at look at what you get. Chips and living the dream, love. Living the dream. There we are. What are you gonna do with that salad? What do you think of that? I thought that was superb. I thought yeah. it was great. I really enjoyed it. There were lots of kids in the group that thought it was fantastic. Dogs allowed, dog friendly. Nice. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. So it's 30 bucks a person. Yep. 30 what bucks is it for person. kids? Um, I think it's 20. I think it's 20 bucks, but I did oh, take a, right here. a thing of it. Cool. Well, that was it. Just over an hour, guys. That was it. I enjoyed that. Something different. Like Sue said, I just went just a little over an hour. Flies a little bit out again. But um, that winter seems to be dying off in the afternoons, eh? I mean, it's blowing now, but anyway, 10 minute drive back into town. So as you can see behind me, we've arrived at Blue Dolphin um, Caravan Park, and it is superbly situated. So if I just turn the camera around, it is literally a very short walk to the beachfront or foreshore. The IGA is just tucked away here on the corner, so very handy. And um, the park itself has ocean views, and as stated, walk to the shops and the pub and the beach. The office is just on the left hand side as you drive in with visitors parking on the right. And I think we paid $50 per night for this caravan park, water and power included. They've also got uh, ablutions and a laundry and a dump point. As you can see from the lower level, the beach views are really little windows of views between all of the cabins and over rooftops, but I suppose there is a small glint of a view. As mentioned, look, nothing too fancy, but the ablutions are neat and tidy. I don't mind a bit of old, as long as it's clean. Laundry facility and also just a small kitchen if um, you're in a tent is available. So all in all not a bag park. $50 a night is um, not exactly cheap but it's not the worst you'll be stung for in um, Western Australia. The park's neat and tidy. Um, there's no swimming pool uh, but there are the basic sort of amenities and I think the best sell about this park is its location because it is literally two minute walk to the foreshore and um, you're able to walk to the shops along the beachfront and um, the pub's not too far and uh, we've already tried that one out. So guys literally you come out the caravan park here I don't know what Sue's showed you yet but and we hit a right and you literally 100 meters from the foreshore. And that's what we're thinking while I'm driving. <laughs> Why are you driving? It's because the fishing rods are not all in the car. Yeah. And I want to try and see if we can find ourselves a um, quiet little spot here on the foreshore. So we might end up having to go backwards and forwards. But I'm going to go left here. You go right, everything's to the right. Look, not really anyone down this way. So I think maybe we've, we might hit a luck here. And then, no, the tide's still quite high. Oh, it's still pretty high, huh? Decided that won't be an epic view of the sunset because the sun actually sets it's just, just around, around the corner here. Yeah. So we had a look anyway. Lots of flies there. So I'm hoping further down. 
Let's go and have a little look see. There's a little tinny going here. Oh, they'll have an epic. I mean, the sky's gone a bit orange already, but it's a bit um, early for that, I think. Yeah, five to five. Okay, we're just a bit further up. Whoop. Oh. Oh. oh, onto the beach. Well, there's not a lot of water still quite high, but the sunset, they think there's the sun now. I think it comes down like in that, that direction. And there is the jetty where they reckon they get the squid off um, at night. I must say, say Denham does have a beautiful foreshore and it's very very friendly very fish village like um, because you're walking around everyone sort of says good day but there are also a lot of travelers coming through backpackers um, and that sort of thing so and also there's a festival on I don't know what they call this festival do you know what they call this festival I don't know what they call the festival but there's a festival the denim on. festival we'll maybe call. the denim we'll call it the denim festival and it's on for the week started yesterday so there's a bit going on Fishing competitions, I think there's fireworks next Friday and no, we're not going to hang around for that. Um, there's there's a bit going on, there's a, there's a marquee tent sort of towards the end of the foreshore where everything's going on, but yeah, we're just going to hang out here, see what that sunset does do. And yeah, just have a bit of fun on the beach with Bobby. Bobby! Oi! Oi mate! Oi mate! Here we go. What's going on? I just, you know, I just couldn't. <laughs> so the um, I'll grab this because Bobby's there. The um, the fridge, the fridge debacle. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh look at this. The fridge debacle in the cruiser. The fridge still ain't working. But I think I found someone to have a look at it at least in Carnarvon. Um, I can't remember the company's name, but. I, Apparently I've got to take it in there and drop it off and they can have a look at it. It's still under warranty. I've had it now, we found it, found the receipt from Anaconda when I bought it. I've still got like a year and a few months left. A warranty on the Dometic upright fridge. So hopefully we can get it serviced or looked at in Carnarvon and we can get it sorted because without that fridge, well, th that's our beer fridge and our bits and pieces and our bait fridge. And at the moment, yeah. So I've gone across the road. Enough dribble, I've gone across the road got myself I'm gonna have one I'm not gonna have all four Sue's gonna have one oh, I can have three Bilson's Bilson's these things if you have not got onto these things these things are dangerously good they um, do all sorts of flavors and always coming out with new flavors so I've got watermelon and vodka let's try it out getting dark. Well, what do you think of these? I think they're pretty tasty. Well, the Don't mind if I do. That's the problem with them. Very easy to drink. I mean, you wouldn't say there's vodka in there, would you? No. Anyway, fortunately it hasn't turned it on, but still, it's still just, it's magic. Look at that. Hey, absolutely just still. The whole thing is just still. Look. Sun gone down. Look at this, guys. Let's try and swing it out. Oh, it did actually come up a little bit. Hey. Now we're heading up for a squid session. Got me, uh, got me rod. she has got some one of my 500 lures in the box, <laughs> and we're going to head off. Looks like the um, jetty's lit up a little bit. Hey. But I must say, what an evening to go and, and squid fish. Hey. <coughs> Beautiful, not a breath of wind. Not a breath of wind. Bobby's living his best life. Yes. Here we go. Sorry about the light, but every now and again, you've got these orange lights on the, um, on this little jetty, so. I'll tell you what, there's, there's ink marks on here, so it's a good sign. I just don't know how old they are. I don't know, I don't know how deep it is. Looks weedy. Come in there. Bobby, don't fall in the drink. Coming, dear. All right. Coming, my sweet. 
Here we go. That's the ink on the jetty, that's a good sign. Yeah, we just don't know how old it is. Hey? Okay. That's true. Oof. This is a light on the end of the jetty here. Yeah? I can see what I'm doing. Oh, the last cat's a meringue. Hey? Oh, wow, what an evening. What an evening. What's going on? I'm not doing very well. Patience, my love. You've only been here for 10 minutes. Patience. Be. Clearly, don't know the trick here. Well, you got one. When you catch up, he's catch well linked though. Good the job, Derek. Another right, three of those. All right, number two. But, uh, yeah, a, but hang on. Didn't. Hang on. Number two in about two hours. Well, it's fishing it's, is a thing not, of patience. It's not South Australia here, but hey, it's a bit bigger than the first one. So let me just put him out of his misery. Where's Bob? Peace, Louise. There it is. What do we end up with? Five, eh? Hey? Five. But hang on, hang on. Two, three, but your two were caught in like half the time. I caught one. Less than half the time. I was yeah. only in for about 10 minutes. There you go. It's not a bad bag. It's not a lot, but that'll do. And it's gotten pretty late, so after I've finished cleaning them and you finished just finalized cleaning them, um, so we're going to do them tomorrow night. And chicken tenders tonight? Chicken tenders on a wrap tonight. That's simple. Bobby? Bobby is absolutely smashed as well. He hasn't had a little nap today. He's just yeah, been flat out. He's been on the jetty with us all the all evening. And um, I must say, I thoroughly enjoyed tonight, even though, you know, there was not much of a sunset, but still it was pretty good. But yeah, tuck into some wraps, and then we're going to go explore tomorrow. Can't wait! Mm. Woo! Baby! Guys, good morning. There's a bit going on here. You want to say good morning, mate? Hey, you're patiently waiting. Oh, what's going on in here? Let's turn the light on. But yeah, up early this morning. Up early this morning, we're heading off to Little, little Lake. Little Lagoon. Little Lagoon. God, yeah. between you and I, we never know where we are. Do you want to explain <laughs> how we managed to do a late sort of checkout at this caravan park? Yeah, so it was, it was a bit of a mix up so Derek phoned up and put down a 50% deposit and oh, then $50 $50 deposit. deposit and then when I came in they charged me the full fee so we had paid additional money so we've already got a book here at Monkey Mia tonight and I thought instead of really rushing yesterday because we you know at the end of the day we we're a bit pushed for time I thought we'll just use that $50 for a late checkup. So we paid for tonight, in other words, yep. and we're going to be leaving here a bit later, around, I'd say, 12.30. The reality is we're not coming back. Yep. So, and that just takes the pressure off completely. I mean, it's not like we have money to spare, but in this situation, what's done is done, and it gives us the time to go out and really enjoy Little Lagoon. We're just arriving at oh, Little, Lagoon. Little Lagoon, I think I spoke too soon. The road is pretty good to come in and you can drive. It looks like there's a, um, a day shelter, if that's what you want to call it. Just ahead of us here. And I want to try and check out, because that'll be quite nice to park up next to it. And then we've got a little table, all the flowers. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Already WA bush cones. Have a look here. I haven't even let my tyres down yet, but like I always say, um, conditions can always change. Oh, there's even a barbecue lab. Oh, that's epic. Okay, it looks like parking the car is going to be tricky. All right. All right, so what we've done because it's super windy, welcome to WA, is we've tucked ourselves between the shelter and the car, just try and break the wind a bit. Screen, and if we cooked, I don't know if you can hear that now, by that wind, it'd take us forever to cook on the barbecue number one because the wind will just keep cooling it down. Look, it's pretty clean, like that's great. We might still use the table, but um, yeah, you can pretty much get the picture of what we've done here. But can I t say, look, what a spot for a day trip. Yeah. I mean, you've got a cool shelter, you've got the barbecue, and turn around and look at that. I, it's a bit windy, it's a bit choppy, but it is still beautiful. 
it's amazing. Look at this little lagoon. Breakfast on the cook. Derek, chief cook. Time to get hungry. What are you going with this morning? Bacon and eggs on a on, on what like on a sat on toast or what are we doing? Yeah, well do you like toast in the pan? Okay. Bacon and eggs oh, for you. No, that's all gone wrong. And so, I am having tomato mushrooms and eggs. Yep, there we go. Bacon's going in. Um, bin. I just want to show people something. I get a lot of questions asking us about this um, air fryer and what brand it is. It's a Cuisinart. 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 We got it from Target. I think it was about $300. I'm not 100% sure. You, but a hot tip, you can get these sort of air fryers online and have them delivered. We just struggle on the road to have stuff delivered when, you know, I needed I needed like to get the air fryer and then I have a little bit of a Bunnings visit as well to, to, to get it all in. Um, just one thing when you're ordering these um, air fryers, they, they have to run on a high um, high wattage. So I've got a 2000 watt inverter in here running lithium batteries. You, you can't run this on AGMs guys like because of the draw power. Come up here, this thing will be drawing. When it when it's on, because it, it's an air fryer, so it, it dips in and out. Well, we'll you'll see. Look at that. It's drawing 91 amps, some 90, 94 amps an hour, and then it, it, it fluctuates. So the same would be for the air fryer. And because I've got a 2,000 watt it, a inverter, that air fryer draws 1,700 watts at peak. So we're all good, but obviously can't run two things at once so when I'm using the air fryer I won't run the induction cooktop vice versa just a quick one on that because we get a lot of we do get a lot of questions in regards to that um, air fryer bacon's cooking I've got this at a thousand I don't know a thousand I think I'm sure it's a thousand watts here we go get this bacon cooking all right mmm egg mushroom tomato bacon and eggs on toast and of course, my homemade coffee. How's that, love? Yeah, good. Nothing wrong with a bacon and egg on toast or toasty singer. That was your breakfast there. Delicious. Whoa. Thank you. Very good. But I tell you what, we've got a lot to do today. So we've got to get cracking. We wanted to stay around this um, lagoon a bit longer today, to be fair. Having a swim or snorkel, but... The weather's just not allowing it. I'm gonna come over here because the weather ain't allowing it. It's getting windier as the minute goes by. So obviously in for a windy day here. So we're gonna wrap this up. We get Bobby. We already packed up the thing. Breakfast was absolutely beautiful. It's a great way to start our day today. I don't even know what the time is. Let's have a look. <coughs> it's quarter to 11. So by the time we go, we're back into town. It's only, like I said, five minute drive. Um, stop at the RGA, just pick up if there's any essentials we need, put some diesel in, um, and then go back to the park. Let's let's get the van all sorted, get some washing done, and then hitch up and we're gonna go over to Monkey Mia. Now, I've also got to say, I actually it didn't bother me if we went to Monkey Mia or not. Um, but Sue really wanted to go. We've got um, yeah, we just managed to get some sites, so we'll explain it when we get there. He said. Wow, when I came over that hill, that, that turquoise water, that wind has dropped off. I think we get here, drop the van off, and 
we got to get the tinny out, I reckon. That's why we got a tinny. We, Bobby will go to the dog sitter anyway because Bobby is a bit of a handful on the old um, boat. So let's check in quick. Quick, 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 quick. And um, what do you think of C's pick? Yeah, it's doing well. <laughs> What's the go? Keep going, follow through. This is not reception. You've actually got to drive further in. All right. A bit of confusion going on here because we've never been here before so we thought that was the reception up the front there but it's not <laughs> so we hold up a few people sorry but here we are at reception look at this place oh, reception look general store gift shop check this out look at that ocean absolutely flat that is giving me um hope to get that boat out what a place i've got to say what i've seen so far but we will give you a whip around the park if you haven't been to Monkey Mia and give you some more intel about it. But I think Sue's um, Sue's right on this one. And um, I thought it's got to accept that. I'm actually super pumped now. I just want to get fishing. Catch a bloody fish. Having a bath, mate. Hey, having a bath. How you going? So we're all fueled up. Bobby's off with the dog sitter. Lovely lady by the name Chloe who actually works here and um, is happy to look after dogs when she's off shift. So three hours of Bob free and Derek just wants to get out on the water. I tell you this, I'm, 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 I'm so impressed with this um, park. Like, you know, you hear about it. Um, people talk about it a lot in the community. Um, but when you come here to get fuel, the, the there's a general store, there's, you know, it's it's just... There's a restaurant, there's a bar. Mate, it's just, yes, it's dear, because did you talk, tell them about the park fee that you had to get? Yeah, so just so you know, when you do check in, just to be in the area, you have to pay a conservation fee, because it's actually a conservation park. So, the fee is, $15 admission fee per adult per day. That is over and above the fee to stay at Monkey Mire. It's just to be in the general area. But that does get you in to the dolphin experience, okay. which is twice a day at either 7.45 a.m. or 12 p.m. So we're just coming up to the boat ramp now. And um, it looks quite a good little ramp. It's just a Looks like it's a beach launch, doesn't it? But it's got a bit of a sort of jetty off to the side of it. All right, what was total launch time there? Boat off? Let's, let's be honest, um, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. From when we arrived here. So I think that's generally, that's not bad. That's pretty impressive. So we're running about 10 minutes later than what I, what I, I wanted to be on the water, but that's fine. We're on the water. <laughs> oh, nice absolutely. Oh, well, oh, mate, I get giddy with stuff like this. I, I like it. I love it. So, I mean, look at the, look at the, from the front side of Monkey Mia, like, wow, Monkey Mia, I think it's called. So it's five knots? Yeah, we, we're not going that far. We're just pulling through here. I'm just going to get the sounder set up. Let's take generally a bit of a... And I'll show everyone around. There's some big boats around here. I can tell you that. It's money in there, in the boat. There is that indeed. Oh, we're supposed to go that way. Yes. And there it is. The resort back there. Just, again, okay. like the weather. Oh, love it. Can I tell ya? Considering what that wind was this morning. Yeah. We actually are finding, I'd like to say, in WA, now I don't know, you know I haven't lived here, we find the mornings are windy and the afternoons are better. So, which, Hey, it works in our favour because Sue finishes work at uh, three, but she's got three days off. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future. Future like uh, it burns. So give him something. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Have fun, guys. on the line 
let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? I feel good, nothing weighs me down. I can't believe my love right now. Red eyes while he said. Look who's back. And he's just farted. Far out, mate. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's been walking up and down the beach at Monkey Mire and um, creating him and, and causing a lot of tension to himself. But he's been misbehaving. He tried to go to the uh, Monkey Bar for a beer after today's terrible attempt at fishing. And we've got this this um, pet cube that um, Lisa from Tri Tribs Travel used for theirs that we got told about and went to JB Hi-Fi and it's only I think 80 bucks but anyway we had that set up and you can see what he's up to and he was howling wasn't he? Yeah he was sitting at the door going Arr! the so, entire time we were gone so we had to come back if I'm talking a different language in a minute, it's because of a down me beer, I mean pint of beer at the um at the pub. Like basha wouldn't melt in its mouth. But anyway. Right. So the good thing about this is prep dinner. Yes. So because we didn't catch any fish today. Oh dear. Look at the beers in the fridge. <laughs> we better make room for the beer because the beer because the beer fridge is broken. But um here we go. Because we couldn't catch any fish today, so he's going to chop that up and put it in a little secret sauce. Back in the fridge for a half hour, cook it up on a wrap, and we've got to get up pretty early tomorrow because the dolphin show. Oh, hang on, we've got a um, early start tomorrow. Well, at, you know, seven forty-five. Someone's on holiday, so that's an early I'm start. On holiday, so that's a very early start. But it's for the dolphin experience, so I don't mind. Seven, yeah, seven forty-five. I think it is. Then we might have a swim because, right. and then we're gonna we're gonna show you around the park because man, you got to see this you park. Have got to see this park is like a five star resort. Have you seen the um, amenities, the ablutions, the toilets and showers? Uh, it's next level. It's like a five star hotel. Time to give away a little secret to those new um, followers or those people who have forgotten. We how to soften the squid because we don't we don't mind it a bit soft but not too soft we've tried the milk we've tried the lime you've got to try the kiwi fruit you mash it up then you slice up your rings throw in the bowl leave it for a half an hour believe me not longer than 45 minutes because then it becomes like mashed potato i don't like the taste of the kiwi fruit so it just washes it off straight in the pan and it is soft isn't it it is superbly soft. This is definitely the best way to tenderize it. Okay. All right, there we go. One squid wrap Whoop. coming. Look at that. Soup, I don't know. Soup. You, yeah. You, soup makes it all. I just want to eat the damn thing. <laughs> but um, we worked so hard for these squid last night, I'll tell you that. Hey? How many hours was it? Three hours? Three hours, I reckon. Anyway. Look at that. That's mine. That's Sue's, and there's a couple more bits in the pan over Is it here. That for you? I reckon I could have one and a half. But what are you having on yours? Because you've got a you've got something going on over here. I'm just having some squid with some um, hot bean salad. Right enough. But um, 
I'm gonna eat that. I'm super tired. The time now is. We'll keep saying about the time, so you know what we're, we're, what's going on. It's a bit late Twenty tonight. past nine already, and as we mentioned earlier, early um, start. So I'm gonna tuck into that, guys. Sue's gonna make hers. Pretty much, very similar to the way we made ours. Mine, except she's gonna be putting that connection on there, which is a couple of cans of four bean mix. Onions, what else? Green capsicum. Good morning. Well, it's an early start for me this morning. Up and um, out the door at 7.30 and just heading down to the beach behind me for the dolphin feeding experience. So, fingers crossed, we get to see some beautiful dolphins this morning. So up ahead of us is the actual reception area, general store and gift shop. Just in that building over there. But when you do arrive you have to buy a conservation pass. And that can be bought at the building on the right hand side where it says welcome to Monkey Mia. So those conservation park fees are over and above your RSC caravan park fees. So make sure on arrival that you do go and pay either for a day or two days or alternatively a week's pass just depending on how long you're staying. There's nice grassy sites just ahead of us and just to the left of the actual um, jetty is where they have the dolphin experience every morning at quarter to eight and that experience continues throughout the day depending on when the dolphins run feeding with the last show at 12 o'clock. Some sort of grass or green area between the power camp sites. And as you can see, barbecue facilities, picnic facilities, beaches just on the other side, and it's really just a great spot to enjoy the evening or have some lunch. And right behind that, you've got the ablutions, table tennis tables, and you've got the camp kitchen, which I have to say is something out of a professional kitchen. So, really great equipment. Right. There was a brilliant tour of the park. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the footage yet. <laughs> I'll see it when I edit. Bobby's um at, what's her name? Chloe. Chloe's got Bobby. So We're Chlo on a hot date. So Chloe has actually got a sign up here. She's actually like accredited by Mad Paws as well. So, yeah, if you're looking at coming to Monkey Maya, and um, you've got a pup and you want a little dog sitter for an afternoon or when she's off. She's amazing. Hit her up. But um, we're going to go and see if we can get one of these sup boards. This should be fun. God, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stand on it. I've only ever done this once in my life. And that was a few years back on um, Morton Island with um, Dustin's one. So this should be a bit of fun. There's no wind. So what are we doing? We're going to hire two if we can. One each. We go for a bit of a paddle. Let's have a look. I wonder if you can see. Let's see, so two seat pedalos, 35 in here, four seat pedalo, 50, so we can have got kids. And we're gonna go two sup boards for 60 bucks. Single kayaks, there you go. So there's a bit going on here. Old mate at the hire shop has offered to give us a little lesson on the old uh, sup board. Now my balance is uh, there's zero on my side. How, I don't know, Sue I don't think can balance really any, any, any better than I can so I'm sure this is going to be a bit of a laugh but we're going to have a crack at it, we got it for an hour. Off you go. Alright, you want to push a little push? No, no, I'll get All right. 
You did all right? So Yours is big. wider than mine. How did you get on it? I didn't see you get on it then. I just turned it low as oh, I stood on it. Damn it. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh. Yeah. So, I have a go on yours. Look at you, you haven't even fallen in yet. There he goes. The howlet's having a couple of wobble bobbles. <laughs> All right, come on, get yourself up. Sweet <laughs> waterfall. Yeah, as wide <laughs> as wide apart as you can get them. Oh yeah, you're smashing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Derek. Oh, Derek. Easy does it all, boy. See, the benefit I have is being low slung to the ground. That. And I say it feels like a peed me pencil because just a little bit of the pencil is wet. It wasn't that difficult to stand, but I did have a super wide sup. Yeah, and super I got a, wide just, sus up. I wasn't comfortable on the sup on standing up. Hey, my knees, no dramas. My bum, absolutely no dramas. But I tell you what, great. It, it's amazing. All that um, paddling. Oh, let me guess. When you start with that, it always means has brought on a face. One of the first, <laughs> and um, the monkey bars open. Here he comes. He's bought more beers. Hang on with that. That's Bar and Bay Brewery beer thingy. Ooh. So that again, ten times mask. Oh no, Bar and Bay beers. Barren Bay Brewery. Barren yeah. Bay Brewery. That's quite a, a tongue <laughs> twister. Barren Bay Brewery beer. All right, guys. Well, this episode actually hasn't turned out too bad after all. Um, I still had a lot of fun. What about I yourself? I had an amazing time. It's been a great couple of days, but we're going to leave you here with the flies. Yep, we're moving on. So come join us next week. We're starting to head up the Coral Coast, which is we're super excited about. We've actually managed to get some bookings up there at some really um, specky spots. So we can't wait to share that with you. But if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe below. Um, as mentioned previously, it costs absolutely nothing, but it really helps us out in terms of building our channel and would be greatly appreciated. And also, you don't get to miss our future videos. So, anyway, myself, Sue, Bobby, you guys have a fantastic week and we'll see you next Sunday. See ya.